Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another awesome arcade game video for you this evening. This is one of the coolest baseball games of all time. You know, some people think a baseball game is a baseball game is a baseball game, but <sighs> there's really several variations on a baseball game. This is Sega's Naomi World Series Baseball. This was from 2001 really cool game check out that cabinet too this was uh, one of their Naomi games which was a uh, uh, just the name of a system that they had back in the day it was similar to the Dreamcast for the home uh, system for your television and the game was probably pretty much an exact copy I would imagine of the home version um, but this was the arcade version and this was also the what they called their GD ROM system, which I always thought was a strange name, <laughs> but whatever. Um, so this is actually playing a disc, similar to a Dreamcast. So, um, but very cool baseball game. They really had their graphics and stuff down by this time, where uh, it just looks great. Of course, compared to like an Xbox One game, I'm sure it doesn't look great. But in 2001, this was awesome this was like as good as arcade games got and of course it was licensed by uh, the MLB so it had all of the uh, all of the players and the teams and really cool I'm not a huge baseball guy but this is an awesome game check out that cabinet though it's one of the Naomi cabinets I think there were several but um, basically these were designed where you could change it into another game by changing the marquee and changing the disc and the little security key inside of it and then you would have a different game you could change the control panel they had these little inserts you could take this one out and then put another one in that might have a different setup but uh, as you can see it's got joysticks and there are these, these weird three-way I guess they're four-way yeah they're four-way but they have three Kind of things that you're supposed to do uh, and then it has the famous bats that everybody likes a couple buttons a couple start buttons but the cabinet just knocks me out that cabinet is so cool it's very big though it's almost as big as this pinball machine <laughs> as you can see it's got a big tw i think that's a 27 inch monitor might be a 29 but there's a little, it, some monitors that they say are 29 are actually 27 because in America they measure them one way and in Japan uh, and China they measure them a different way. So, but it's got a big old digital uh, Wells Garner monitor in it. The base down here on the bottom uh, is where all of the uh, electronics and everything are. And then the front of course is just like a typical game. Those two little things on either side of the bottom coin door are because you could put a little bar across that that you could put a padlock on this side. Um, that probably came from the factory like that. We just don't have the bar. And uh, there's some little key locks here where you can open this up and do what you want in there. The speakers are right there, as you can see. And then it's got a really cool uh, marquee. And one thing that Sega did a lot was the, the monitors exposed. You can touch it, which a lot of games had a piece of glass over it, but not Sega. So they, um, but you know, like your television, you can touch the monitor. Nobody gets killed. So, <laughs> so it's not that big of a, of a, of a deal. But uh, we'll read through the instructions a little bit in case you guys don't know how to play. Guys and girls don't know how to play baseball. So you're either batting or running or pitching or fielding so World Series Baseball you see some of the logos here it's the Major League MLB uh, logo that other one there I believe is like the Players Union logo um, Sega logo and then the I think that's what's that other one there it says it up here on the top created by let's see it's got the same ones up here Wow Entertainment. 
World Series of Baseball. Okay, so batting. That's the that's the first thing, right? Predict the pitch type with lever. So you try to guess. Pull bat switch and hold it. Move batting cursor to aim the ball. Release bat switch at the best timing. This is one of those games that, uh, you know, has really advanced controls. You can do all kinds of stuff. Start time. Pinch hitter. It's your lever. A button, B button, bat switch. Boom, 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 boom. So uh, when it says move batting cursor to aim the ball, I believe you do this with the joystick here. All right, and then running after you hit the ball, which I'm sure I will do because you guys know, guys and girls, know how great I am at these games. I'm just, I'm always so great at them. Running, select the base with the lever. Press A button to advance, press B button to return. Simple enough. All right, and then so then in the other end of the inning, you're pitching. Select a pitch type with lever. Press the A button to start. Aim the pitch location and press the A button at the best timing. So that's your start button again. Change pitcher, lever, A button, B button, bat switch. And then fielding throwing in case they accidentally hit the ball. Move fielder to landing point. So go chase the shadow, basically. Select the uh, move fielder to landing point. Fielder will catch the ball automatically. Select a base with the lever. Press the A button to throw. So simple, like usual in the in the uh, baseball games. And this one is in pretty good shape, except for that little part right there, because some punk ruined my video. You know what I mean? This happened about 2004. I don't know who did it, but I want to know if anybody has any any uh, any idea who the culprit may be. Put it in the comments below. We've also got some stuff here. American League, National League, Anaheim Angels, the Baltimore Orioles, the Boston Red Sox, the Chicago White Sox, the Cleveland Indians, the Detroit Tigers, the Kansas City Royals, the Minnesota Twins, the New York Yankees, the Oakland Athletics, the Seattle Mariners, uh, the Tampa Bay Devil Rats, the uh, Texas Rangers, and the Toronto Blue Jays. Somebody explain to me why all, I guess, I guess all the teams aren't in it, just those are the ones that they selected. Maybe they just licensed those, pers those particular ones. Well, there's more on the screen. I guess they're all in it. Hmm. I wonder why they did that. It's a strange sticker, folks. But there you go. I will set up the tripod and we'll play it a little bit. I'm not going to be very good at it, but we'll try it out and see what's going on. Be back in just a second. All right, folks, this is up in our front window. I'm actually going to show you how the whole thing boots up because it's a Naomi system and they're kind of neat the way it happens. So I figured I'd show you. Everybody kind of likes those. So why not see how it does what it does? If I can find the right cord. All right, here we go. That pop was all the power. It's very powerful. No signal. Naomi GD ROM system. Checking memory 60, 70, 80. Please wait. It's loading the game. Big game. <laughs> you can see a little bit of the burn in on the screen.
It should have like hold music that plays while it's loading. Checking memory, make sure all that's good. Please wait. Oh, we're waiting. Reboot system. <laughs> the first time I saw that, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. All right, here it comes. It's going to do its thing. <laughs> now it's loading the ROM. There you go. So it took about, what, two and a half minutes? I guess in the morning, like whenever they turned everything on, nobody would be there to play them yet. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Awesome. All right, now I am not good at this thing, but we'll try it out a little bit and see if I can embarrass myself. Please select a tune. Well, I'm in Charlotte, so I've got to pick Atlanta. Please select a stage. please select a starting pitcher. <laughs> not good. Not good. Not bad. <laughs> What's that mean? <laughs> Please select the play level. I got to go with rookie. Automatic fielding, pitch speed slow. All right. Atlanta Braves. Los Angeles Dodgers. I think I'm batting first. so it's real complicated. You pick which kind of pitch you think it's going to be. We're going to try that. Then you pull the bat back and you can aim the thing. Yeah, that's how you do it, folks. I actually hit the damn ball. No way. All right, so you're trying to predict what kind of ball that he's going to throw. Mm, too late. Oh, oh, he's about to put me out, people. Oh, that's embarrassing. One out and a runner on first. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah, Joe's Video Games. Check it out. Remember, I had somebody on base, too. And I guess I'm pretty great. I knocked it all the way out of the park. I don't know if you saw it. It looks like it bounced off somebody's windshield. Oh. He slid it right by me. Uh oh. Front row. Come on. Come on now. All right, now I got to try to pitch, people. How do you pitch? You select the pitch. You press the button to start. You aim the pitch location. And you press the button at the best time. Okay. Yeah, I meant to do that. I was controlling him. All right. Down and away. Okay. 
Yeah, I did that. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. Uh huh. Hit him with the old knuckleball. Uh huh. He didn't see that coming. I'm gonna give him a little bit of this. Oh, I got to throw. <laughs> the guy was already hitting a hot dog by the time I threw it. <laughs> well, I probably should have threw the damn ball. <laughs> I got you, sucker. Okay, we're going to put him out this time. Oh. I didn't know that was fourth. What out and runners on first and second. I'm about to get clobbered. A knuckleball. Uh huh. Oh. Two outs and runners on second and third. A knuckleball. Oh. All right, we're gonna bat one more time, and then I'm gonna end the pain. All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to make fun of me. Slider. At least I swung that time. Yeah! What was that? What did we just catch on film there? I can hit them all, people.
two outs and runners on first and second. So there you go, folks. I could be here all night. World Series Baseball. I think they did a really good job on it. It's just fun. You can pretty much do everything you want to do in baseball. Look at that. I'm beating their butt, and I'm not even touching the controls. All right, so now by the time you see this game, it may have uh, knuckleballed its way over to somebody else's uh, game room. And we may not even have it for sale anymore. He's going to stand there with the ball and let him score. I just can't watch it. Oh, okay. But you can check out all the games that we have in, available at any time and go to our website, lionsarcade.com. Or you can stop by our shop here in beautiful downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. The streets are empty tonight. Um... We're about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We've always got a building full of arcade games for sale. This is just one of many. Now, if you're not local, so you can't stop by, and you don't want to check out the website because you're not looking to buy a game, you just like these videos, well, that's cool. That's why we film them. We film them for our YouTube fans to check out. Uh, so just subscribe to us here, and uh, next time we get in a cool game like this, we will film a little video of it. So we will see you on the next video.